experience of six years in industry and teaching. Her teaching areas of interest include digital marketing, e-commerce and technology, information technology, related laboratory as well. She has published papers related to startups, social media, e-commerce in both national and international journals, and also participated in various faculty development programs, seminars, workshops. She has also organized various events in the department where she is working for. Warm welcome to Dr. Uh, Ashkin Moji. Very warm welcome, ma'am. Thank you so much for the warm introduction. Yes, ma'am. Over to you now, ma'am. Yes, yes. I'll be sharing my screen and we'll start my presentation. Hope my screen is visible. Ma'am, it is. It is visible, ma'am. Okay, okay, fine. So, good morning to all. So, the objectives of today's webinar workshop goes like this. So, by the end of this workshop, you all will be having an understanding of uh, like what is entrepreneurship, so, what is the importance of innovation and idea generation? So, importance of problem solving, what are the attributes, characteristics and functions needed for an entrepreneur? Then, what is the role of creative thinking and strategic thinking in case of entrepreneurship? So, the term entrepreneurship is everywhere. So, even we are just uh, focusing or we are just uh, what is that we are just making our students to concentrate on entrepreneurship so we want our people we want our students to be job givers and not job seekers so <clears throat> that is the major purpose of this entrepreneurship so for in order to be an entrepreneur we must possess some innovation we must have innovative thinking as well as creative thinking that is very much needed because if you want to withstand in the market then definitely we need some unique product we must be unique because the competition is more the com in order to beat the competition if you are selling unique product if you are giving innovative product then you can withstand in the market otherwise immediately you have to come out of the market only so now let us see what is entrepreneurship so entrepreneurship is the ability and readiness to develop organize and run a business enterprise along with any of its uncertainties in order to make a profit so if you want to be an entrepreneur you must be willing to take risk you will be same way you will be enjoying the risk as well as you will be enjoying the benefits benefits in the sense maybe profit or your brand name if your brand is a brand is reaching <coughs> the in the top market then you are just uh, getting the fame and pride of your particular brand so same way you must be willing to make risk also so even you have to invest a lot you have to work a lot you have to put your hard work everything in order to be a successful entrepreneur so the most prominent example of entrepreneurship is the starting of new businesses so we can start a new business or you can just uh, expand an existing business so there must be definitely there should be some kind of innovation and creativity then only we can tell like uh, your your brand is unique in the market so an entrepreneur is an individual who creates a new business bearing most of the risk and enjoying most of the rewards so the process of setting up a business is known as entrepreneurship so budding students you all uh, you may be ambitious to start your own startup so then definitely you are coming under this entrepreneurship only so you should know there are definitely risk also associated with this entrepreneurship if you want to be an entrepreneur then definitely not only you will be gaining profit you you must be willing to solve problems you must be willing to take risks also the entrepreneur is commonly seen as an innovator a source of new ideas goods services and business or procedures so now let us see the difference between innovation and creativity so 
if you want to be an entrepreneur then definitely there must be some sort of innovation in your product so innovation is how a firm or an individual makes money from creativity suppose if your innovation has value if your innovation has value then only we can tell like your business is a combination of innovation and creativity suppose if your innovation has some value then that is termed as creativity so if we want to be successful then definitely your brand must possess innovation along with creativity so organizations managers and other employees seeks to create original ideas and concepts that will end up as innovations so such as new or enhanced products or services processes that increase efficiency highly competitive marketing campaigns or superior management so this process is termed as origination and this creativity is the process of generating something new which has value so the four p's of creativity and innovation are first one is product possibilities personal and group creativity and processes so product we all know so it is the result of creation or innovation process the product could be a physical product or it could be a service or it could be an enhancement to this uh, result okay so it is a process for increasing effectiveness our efficiency so next comes possibilities so without understanding the possibilities you should not enter into any business you should not enter into any of the uh, what is that any business it is like initially you have to understand the demand so what is the demand at present in the market so for particular whether it is for perishable good or whether it is for durable good so what is the current demand in the market so you have to understand the possibility so who will be our target customers whether it is kids or whether it is youngsters so all these possibilities must be understood first then based on the possibility based on the requirement of the market you should start creating or developing a product so that is very very important so this is the second p and third p is process so there are numerous techniques that can be used to increase the creativity of problem solving within an organization so you should master all these processes you have to keep on pondering so which process suits the best for this particular innovative product or innovative business so that is very much needed so you must spend more time in understanding the process so how how we are going to develop this particular product how we are going to launch this so how we are going to market this product all these things must be understood so and the fourth p is it is personal and group creativity so a uh, personal creativity so uh, uh, the success of a brand doesn't lies with a single person so team effort is also much needed so maybe you your idea will be your unique idea you are the entrepreneur and you, it is your idea to start that particular business or to develop an innovative product so ultimately when we are launching or implementing the product the actual actual implementation happens so group creativity also matters so like packing how to pack this product how this could be delivered to the ultimate customers so all these things happen so personal creativity as well as group creativity matters a lot in this innovation and creativity so next is idea generation so entrepreneurship is all about ideas so without ideas we cannot sustain in the market we cannot start a business we cannot copy somebody else business and <coughs> start as it is my own idea we cannot do that so idea generation is very very important suppose if you are in do the business also you must have innovative ideas so how you can have innovative idea is like you can have some brainstorming sessions mind mapping sessions so it is a collective teamwork you will have a problem or you will have a, a, a like a, like a small idea you will be having okay i have a plan i have a chota plan so how to generate that 
how we can implement it. So for that, what you can do is you can have certain idea generation methods in addition to your idea, supporting ideas. You can have like uh, you can have some discussion and you can just generate those ideas. So this idea generation is the fuel to a brighter future. A great idea can help you solve a business challenge, increase revenue or better it start a new business altogether. While it may seem like an easy thing to generate cool business idea, it requires practice and mastering few techniques, but it is essentially essential to make it an ongoing habit for your business to thrive. So idea generation is the creative methods that an entrepreneur uses to generate ideas for a new business. So let us see few of the idea generation methods. So you all might have heard the term brainstorming session. So everywhere we can hear this brainstorming. So what is this brainstorming? So informally the team members will be gathered. So wherein uh, it, it won't be like a formal discussion. So whatever ideas comes into their mind, they will be given an opportunity to share it. So without any criticism, there will not be any criticism or there will not be any negative suggestions or opinions. So whatever ideas you are, it is entering into your mind, you have, you are given an opportunity to share. It. So that is this brainstorming. So immediately implementation does not happen. So it is like generating ideas. So suppose if you want to launch this particular product, so what are the different ideas? So how come this could be performed? How come this could be implemented? So before finalizing the things, lots of ideas are gathered in terms of this brainstorming session. So second one is mind mapping method. So this mind mapping method is also known as idea mapping and it is a proven creative technique initially developed by famous UK author Tony Burson in the year 1972. So actually what happens is uh, you, you will be an, an idea will be a problem, a problem or the thing which is needed will be written in the center of a paper. So it is like a branches. So something relevant to that problem, something relevant to rectifying that particular problem will be written like branches. So this creating a mind map is easy. So it is also a team effort, team effort, team members will be gathered together and uh, a paper like uh, in a board, a paper will be a problem will be written in the center and whatever ideas are coming to you, whatever uh, implementation part, whatever creative uh, thinking is entering into your mind, you will be allowed to uh, er, write like a branches. So if the problem you are having is about creating a business strategy, then in the center it will be written like business strategy. Then you may find yourself writing words like so something relevant to that business strategy like business planning. So what are the things related to that particular problem? So all the things will be written like financial analysis, management tools and organizational goals. So this idea mapping is a tremendous boost for creativity and will help you organize your thoughts visually. It is like a visual representation. So visual ideas help you better communicate your thoughts. So as we all know, so nowadays, uh, wherever we go, this data visualization comes. There are different softwares like Tableau is there, Python is there. So whenever we want to present certain things, so people are not interested in reading the passages, reading the paragraphs. Instead, if it is depicted in a diagrammatic form, then everybody is really interested. Also, their brain works a lot when they are looking into an image. So similar kind of thing is this mind mapping method. And next one is storyboarding. So the storyboarding is also one of the idea generation methods. So the storyboarding is basically a method to develop a visual story to explain or explore the idea or the problem. So here also it is similar to this mind mapping method. So at the end of the day, at the end of the discussion, so a kind of story will be developed here. A problem will be there. So 
for that particular problem so how to resolve this particular issue how to resolve this particular problem a visual story kind of thing will be developed so for this uh, this ideation session usually results in a visual story that can help you understand how to connect different ideas so whatever ideas are entering into your mind during the time of discussion so that will be kept in the form of images and at last everything gets compiled together so it uh, goes on like a process so initially this has to be done and later this needs to be proceeded so that is about the storyboarding method and next one is reverse thinking or thinking in reverse so when we think about this we feel like it is a negative thinking method so it is like if i want to improve my face so it is like thinking in reverse so uh, initially instead of knowing the positive side better it is better to understand the negative side so how to decrease the breach so all these things the breach so this is about uh, these are the various idea generation methods so next comes the importance of problem solving so as an entrepreneur definitely we have to face a lot of problems not only in our professional life maybe in our personal life also we'll come across we'll encounter lot of problems so this problem solving is an integral part of organization life so it is unavoidable this solving problems and encountering problems is unavoidable even as a students you will be encountering lot of problems like uh, if you want to submit your assignments on times so if you may feel if you may feel it like a problem so how can you solve it if you are unable to complete your task on time so how you can solve it so how to prioritize your problems how to prioritize your task so all these things are very very important so similar way every time a manager or a leader directs people in producing a product or a service problems are being solved decisions are made so everywhere problems problems are common but how you are resolving it how you are handling that particular problem that matters so that is very very important so every time any member of an organization thinks of a new way to reduce cost invents a new product or service or determines how to help the organization function better in some way problem solving is taking place so you have to use your creative as well as strategic thinking you have to apply your analytical thinking to solve those particular problem so there lies the success so problems are common but how you are resolving it that is very very important so <laughs> let us see about the creative problem solving method so this creative problem solving method it works under eight stages so first first step is environmental analysis so like understanding our internal environment as well as the internal external environment like you have to do swot analysis pest analysis what are what are our strength weakness opportunities threat then political environment economic environment so all these things must be understood for the environment where 
you're going to work or where you're going to develop or introduce a new product. So that is very, very important. So this is the this is the first step and second one is problem recognition you need to understand the particular problem so what is the problem we are facing in an organization right now so what is the innovative thing what is the innovation we can just adopt for this particular process or for this particular product so that must be understood that must be recognized so then you can just identify the problem so what is the actual problem you can just prioritize the problem and at present what is the problem we are going to resolve so for what we are to make solution so that must be understood so after that we need to make lot of assumptions so like I said, like uh, for idea generation, there are different methods like brainstorming sessions. So reverse thinking method, mind mapping method. So all these things, storytelling. So you can just make lot of assumptions. So then we can just create uh, different alternatives. Suppose if I'm solving in this particular track, so what will be the result? Suppose if I'm just performing or if I'm just going to resolve in this particular B path, so this could be the outcome. So there are uh, different different plans, B plan, A plan. So different alternatives should be developed. Then we need to evaluate and finalize the thing. So evaluation is like prioritizing. Suppose if I'm making this direction, so what will happen? This could be the outcome. This will be the result. Suppose if I'm taking in this direction, this could be the result. So all these things must be evaluated and after that actual implementation happens so actual implementation is like adopting the plan so it is implementing the plan so after that you can just do control mechanism control mechanism is like so this is what our expectation this is what our expectation but actually this is the profit we have generated out of implementing this particular plan so this is the creative problem solving process. So straight away, you should not do any sort of implementation being an entrepreneur or being a problem solver. You have to follow all these creative problem solving processes in order to be successful. So next is functions of entrepreneurs. So an entrepreneur uh, must be a risk taker. He must be a leader. He must be a salesperson. So entrepreneur is a person who must be well versed in all the tasks so he first thing is first function is he must be a risk taker so we all know so entrepreneurship starting a business is not that much easy so he has to get approval getting approval or implementing getting employees and labors so everything encounters some risk so he must be a person who is willing to take risk so that is the first function of an entrepreneur and second one is salesperson so he should know how to sell his product or service so that is very very important so this is the second function of an entrepreneur so third one is he must be a goal getter so goal getter so few entrepreneurs they know how to set goals so they know how to set the like uh, vision mission setting goal so five years we have to be like this so this is my goal but they will they do not know how to attain those goals but the success of an entrepreneur uh, is like he should know how to get that goal also how to attain that goal also he must have some mechanisms in order to uh, get that particular goal so that is very very important so next is he must be a leader Le a leader we all know so he must be willing to guide his followers he must be willing to guide his employees so that is very very important so i uh, the final thing is like he must be a decision maker so he must be willing to take challenging decisions so challenging decisions strong decisions so all these things are very much needed for an entrepreneur so uh, ultimate thing is he must identify and solve a problem problem is unavoidable so he must identify the problem not only identify the problem he must be willing to solve that problem so these are few of the functions of entrepreneurs so next let us see about creative thinking so creative problem solving we have seen we have seen some eight methods for 
uh, how to uh, pro solve a problem in a creative way. So what is this creative thinking? So the creative thinking is all about developing innovative solutions to problems. So not a normal pro normal solution. So it is like you must apply your analytical skills. So all these things must be applied in order to get solution for a particular problem. So then only we can tell like this particular person is a creative thinker. He will be applying all his analytical capability. Also, he will apply his strategic mind also, something related to his mental ability, cognitive thinking. So all these things will be applied in order to get solutions to a particular problem. So like uh, so, uh, say, saying a solution to a problem is common. So everybody will be giving some suggestions or solutions in order to resolve a problem. But if you are a successful person, if you are a successful entrepreneur, then definitely you must provide creative thinking in whatever suggestions you are giving. So that is very, very important. So creative thinking includes the process of innovative problem solving from analyzing the facts to brainstorming to working with others. So examples of this creative thinking is like analytical skill. You must possess analytical skills, innovation and collaboration. So we all know what are analytical skills. So these analytical skills or problem solving skills that helps you sort through facts, data and information to develop rational solution. So instead of saying solutions like I think this could be the solution, you must prove with the data. You must prove with information. You must provide relevant information and you have to provide suggestions and solutions for certain things. So that is very, very important in case of this creative thinking. So this analytical skills includes data analysis, research, forecasting, reporting, interpreting, interpreting and communication. So with proof, you have to provide suggestions. So next is innovation and collaboration. So innovation, you all know. So something innovative, something which is not uh, existing in the market, existing or prevailing in the market. So the different innovation skills are risk taking, brainstorming, imagining, critical thinking. So all these comes under innovation. Then collaboration is, so nothing happens alone. So we need to collaborate with your team members. So we need to collaborate with the team members in order to have creative ideas. So nothing will be happening uh, overnight or with your particular thinking. So that is collaboration. And the last comes is strategic thinking. So the strategic thinking is something which is related to our mental or thinking process. So something, uh, something innovative, something creative. So the term, the strategy is used in military forces, like a formal way. So like a plan in a different way. So planning, we all know it is common. Planning is common. Everybody plans, everybody uh, makes plan, but implementing or providing solutions in a different way, in a tactical way, tactical course of action. So that is called as the strategic thinking. So if you want to be a successful person, then definitely we must possess this uh, creative problem solving. You should know how to generate ideas. So how to uh, apply this creative thinking in all aspects of your business. So that is very, very important. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. It was such a fruitful session today. And uh, Miss Ashlyn Nemo from introducing the word entrepreneurship to telling us the difference between innovation and creativity. Later, she also told us how innovation, which has a value, it could be termed as creativity. And she further gave us certain uh, different things, uh, different forms you can say with which we can uh, brainstorm mind map or storyboarding or reverse thinking these are the certain ideas or certain processes through which we can generate ideas 
and later she also uh, talked about the importance of problem solving and how one when one encountered the problem can uh, solve it after identify it and in this way from step by step she elaborated the topic of today and thank you so much for that now i would like to request worthy uh, campus director dr rashmi gujarati ji to extend her warm vote of thanks to miss ashlyn nimo thank you very much and uh, thank you very much dr alim uh, you have given your precious time with that whatever you have mentioned in your presentation it is a very useful for the students and also for the faculty members also because our government has opened this portal for everyone as today also we have seen that there is a one skill of india innovation session and we have attended that uh, session and our prime minister was the guest speaker of that session and they have also indicated to all of us that we have to focus that how we can skill our student how we can upgrade our faculty member now a day to get a job is a very big task and the students are getting opportunity and the iic portal is the portal of the ministry of education and the government is supporting hardly to give the opportunity to our new generation to our faculty member so this session is very useful and you have very well explained that how the idea can be generated because when there is a problem means that we try to find the solution and when try to find the solution means lot of the ideas come in our mind and if we implement on that idea then there is a new way to do something special thank you very much elin to giving us your time and focusing on the entrepreneurship and innovation already you have mentioned everything in your presentation that how you can be become a creative how you have to do the analytical skills innovation skills you have mentioned that there will be a brainstorming strategies planning organizing as the management people also know that in the function five functions are there principles of management planning controlling organizing and preparing so these all things are very useful for everyone thank you very much on the behalf of kc group of institution and from the behalf of all the staff member thank you elena thank you thank you so much ma'am now i would like to thank one and all who have joined this webinar today and made it a big success thank you so much for joining in today